calling Delta Airlines. Delta will always offer you the lowest fare available for the date, flight, and class of service you request over Whatever. the telephone. We also welcome you to visit our website at www.delta.com where lower fares may be available. Good morning, Delta Airlines. Good morning. How are you this morning? Well, I was better before I was on hold for 10 minutes, but... Uh, well, let's... I answered the phone as soon as you came in, so I apologize. Yeah, it's typical airline run around bullshit. I'm used to it. Okay, sir. How can I help you? Uh, I, I don't know if you can help me, but I have some questions uh, involving the security procedures of your airline. Okay, what type of security, sir? Well, I, I've been uh, hearing about some of these recent incidents. Like the woman who was stopped for having a vibrator in her carry-on bag, and they made her pull it out and uh, hold it up, and they laughed at her, humiliated her. Yeah, I did hear about that, too, yeah. And the one woman was forced to drink her own breast milk. I mean, I mean you call this security? Uh, it sounds like a f***ing frat party to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm kind of leery to fly now, because, you know, I don't know what's well, going to... What are you going to be taking with you that might be questionable uh, if you don't mind my asking. Well, as a matter of fact, I do mind you asking, but uh, if you must know, uh, is it okay to wear a c ring? No. Why the hell not? Hold on just a second, because... Uh, hold on. It should. It lays back nearly flat so you can sleep. Plus, it has a laptop power port and a personal in-seat video screen with movies or games. So even the most crazed terrorist can fly in complete comfort. Coupled with a fine... Okay, hello, sir. My name's Ned. Okay, Ned. Um, you can declare the fact that you've got one with you. You probably will be fine. Um, yeah, that's easy for you to say. So what, I'm supposed to just walk up, up to the screeners and say, uh, Attention, I have a butt plug in my... Don't be alarmed. Pardon my French. No, no, that's uh, fine. I mean, we get all kinds of questions, and, I, I, and I'm not upset with that. Um, they just said, you know, if you have one, just declare that you've got one. That's yeah, all. I guess I could do that. I just don't want my c ring to raise a red flag and get strip searched in a whole nine you, yards. You know, it could show as a weapon of some sort, even though you know it's not, and so forth. Come on, how can a c ring be construed as a weapon? What am I going to do? Bust down the door and f the co-pilot to death? Hello? Good morning, Delta Airlines. Yes, uh, we seem to have been uh, disconnected. Now, now, look, I'm sorry I have to talk about this kind of thing with you, but you, your airline's uh, outrageous behavior forces me to bring this up. I mean, normally, those situations that you have heard of are extreme situations. It's not the norm. Well, that's the whole point. I'm trying to avoid an extreme situation. Now, I'm very concerned about this, you see. I have a white chocolate replica of Peter North's penis, and I want to carry it on to make sure it doesn't melt. Well... And I'm afraid your incompetent screeners might mistake it for a gun. Right, and you just need to declare that at the time you put your suitcase on there. Psh, so that when they, when those it's just a giant chocolate so forth, They see that, you know, it can... It, it can yeah, right, you know, right, right. Now, now, what about this? I am traveling with an extensive collection of Middle Eastern pornography. Uh... It's quite valuable, so, you know, I want to carry it on. I don't want to pack it. Well... You know, stuff like uh, Taliban tit you know, Arabian a bangers Kuwaiti f***ers. Yeah. Now, just because I enjoy multicultural pornography, uh, am I going to be treated like a f***ing terrorist? Uh, hold on. You know, the best thing that we have been telling people is if it's the slightest bit questionable, then you can send your luggage all the way through if you want to do that and not do carry-on. Well, that's the whole point. You see, I'd like to do carry on without getting fucking hassled. I'm a senior citizen, a white male. I don't look like a terrorist. Why are you pulling me out of the lineup when you should be searching Ahab the Arab wearing his jihad jeans and a what would Allah do t shirt trying to give himself a fucking hot foot? Oh, that's not true. I got news for you. I get singled out all the time. Well, that makes two of us. You see, it's just politically correct bullshit. I mean, last week they pulled me out of line and confiscated my pocket. Pay. Said it could have been made out of C4. Bullshit. Ned. Bottom line, your screeners are incompetent, and they wouldn't know a pocket pussy from a pipe bomb. Well, you never know what people could put in something like that. I mean, well, you put your in it, and you go. You have to think the worst of people, and I'm certainly not thinking the worst of you, believe me. It's just the situation and the way the world is today. Spare me the song and dance. I need information. I have a strap-on dildo painted to look like a Scud missile. <laughs> I mean, it looks impressive and everything, but it's obviously not a weapon of mass destruction. Uh, you know, it's More like a weapon of ass destruction. God. Good morning, Delta Airlines. Look, please don't hang up on me. I have a serious question. And uh, I heard about the lady who was forced to drink her own breast milk, and I'm going to be bringing, uh, you know, 
some samples of my own. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me what are the do's and don'ts? Let's suppose the liquid is in a bottle, okay? Yeah, a bottle. And on that bottle is a prescription. Yeah. There's no problem. Okay, because uh, I've taken about half a dozen semen samples to uh, my cousin out in uh, California, but uh, it's really not a big deal because uh, I'd be more than happy to chug a lug. Hello? Hello? 